<laughs> I'm just like going up and down, like, okay, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here, don't on the floor. Even water with alcohol runs down the side of people slower than the river. The river is so like, whoosh, it's like, it's like a plague. It's Sounds like a little bit of rings. Yeah, I know. Sounds weird. So what would you do, man? Would you peel like half and just do it? Yeah, half? we'll just do it like the flat side. Um you happy in the Happy, happy. Happy, happy. First thing we have to get in all kinds of ways. <laughs> Push me around that. Right. Now it's what a feminist means. <laughs> Push those men around. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not wrong. I'm figuring out a. What's Erin giving me a really nice compliment? She said, Maggie, don't take this the wrong way. You're the best feminist that I've ever met. <laughs> and I was like, hold on now. Just, just hold your horses. <laughs> I mean that you're the kind of feminist that should be feminist. Feminists should be. You care about people who are being treated badly, not uh, not about like getting equal rights or something, which is like we already have equal rights. Come on, guys. Oh, here. Let me just put a little stick and then make sure we're good. Yeah, you don't always realize just how dramatic or pervasive a 
next shape is until you realize what it does to a 2D object. Yeah. And then you're like, oh. So, so we are stretching it and making a different shape as we go here, but it's really, really um, gentle. One, two, three, something. And also, um, see all of these um, tension lines? If I'm pulling it like in a wrapping stretch, I can pull that out into a glass smooth surface. I'm going to just do it as I go. So just pull it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you left handed? No. Yes, yeah, so this is harder. Anyway, so, so okay, if you're uh, uh, pulling triangles, if you have a line uh, coming this way, see this wrinkle is mm -hmm. unhappy, um, pull a triangle like this in the perpendicular motion and you'll always pull it out, right? Uh, okay. That's, that's how you respond to wrinkles. Oh, shit. Sometimes I'm doing a, a kind of a C motion to work them towards myself. Out. Give it a little force, and um, the direction that you squeeze in will help these horizontal lines. A little bit. Okay. Um, and since we have all this bleed. I can touch this all over the edge and put my fingerprints in it. We're just going to cut it off. You always need something to pull on so that you don't touch the edge that's supposed to be sticky. Yeah. When it lays down, that's the edge. That's the part you've got to worry about. Is the edge of it. And we could have done this easier with four people but we could have done this just rip off all the paper and all pull in opposite directions so that it yeah, lays down like nice and flat and I did yeah that that's perfectly acceptable way to do it it's very fast but we have a really long way to go arms feel? I guess you're resting so and usually usually I, I do something like this by myself so I have to find out techniques that are reliable, that I don't need four people for. Um, and when I worked for Dave, that was all the time. <laughs> so.
the paper underneath the thing because nobody can slip on it and crack their noggin. Yes. Because it's waxy. And, and if you work in this clear, I mean this wrap, um, uh, printable, usually the backing is clear. So you can go through Dark Shop and just plain feet in the air because you step on a piece of clear plastic wrap and whoosh, like that's it. Super dangerous. Yeah, here. Here, let me help you. Eh. Every so often, it helps to relax into this. Just a little curve. Okay, we'll be okay. Um, yeah, so. Do you want to switch? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Joe, you do some stuff. At this point, you can actually pull all your glass at once and squeeze it. Pretty much just squeeze it. The wider and softer the wrinkles, um, the more likely they're just going to roll out. The skinnier and harder, the more you probably have to pull it up. You can put your palm on those bubbles and just rub them, and they're just going to be good, right? Yeah. And then um, just press a little harder, and you get some. If it's a high bubble and it's a large one, probably you'll have to pull it up. If there's enough air in there, then it'll create a wrinkle where that bubble is instead. Do I think we should split the sides? Because yeah. you're left handed and yeah. right handed. It's not how to do No, I'm just, I did all that. Like, yeah. You have lots of practice. Um, I can still see some clear channels in here. Yeah. This this fiberglass is low tack and a weird surface. Oh, yeah, it's pretty stuff. Uh, this looks like it's going to go. Oh, see this weird stuff? That's because of that weird function that was something up. They had like something. Well, they want to have a crack or something. Yeah. Okay. If it's a paint issue, it's so great. Can't fix it. I'm not a picture. Oh, I fucking hate autobody. I already decided a long time ago I'm not going to try it. I'm going to have to go. Ah. I still do that kind of reaction. I'm not going to. Nice. You're gonna have a nice time lapse with this thing going down. Not I think there might actually be something. Yeah. Sometimes I 
do it for the front of it. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm doing a triangle. Come around that pointy corner there. Keep pulling along. Are we able to close the door? Yep. Okay, so you can see here, this is the edge of the black, right? So under here is blue, and under here is black, and then this is the tape. This is that weird tape I've put down. Yeah. Um, so if you run a nail against that tape, that's where I want to turn, right here. Because then I'll have this black, or black, this black, yeah. This is nerdy. Which time I come across something cool and put it on this? So how do we do this, baby? Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so you can see all these wrinkles are like, oh no, mine's a waterfall. Um, one sec. Yeah, you know, air in the air in the direction of going onto the table instead of off, because that's where less disasters will happen. And um, if you have to adjust, just stop and start again. Cutting the tint like a decor. Cutting what? The tint like someone who decals. <laughs> like that's crazy. Well, it's because, like, like what this making. This is a no. Why? This is a yes. I'm connected. Dale hated it. Because that's just how I'm used to cutting. It's like, why? Oh, I, it's about control, right? So, um, if you're good at controlling your blade, how you hold it. It's that's what I told him. I'm like, it doesn't too much matter pressure on how it. I hold it. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yes, it does. <laughs> Maybe because like, he's used to people who aren't experienced with the place that much. Because it's actually easy. But yeah, if you, if and you I was know like, how to control I need, your depth. I was like, I need to, this is how I do it. And I'm so I'm used to it. I was like, I go all over the place when I hold it. So beautiful, so nice and straight. And if you ha happen to have them, um... oh yeah, okay. The, the only problem with going onto the tape, if you go a little too far, you risk trapping the green tape in your line. But it's just here. Actually, you can just fix it by turning the tape. Actually, it's not a risk because you just trim off a piece of stuff. Those ladies are fighting about, but I'm not having any of it. You can see 
Yeah, cutting twice is always a good day. Cutting the car by accident is always a bad day. <laughs> so always cut twice if you don't feel confident because that means you're cutting too light as opposed to too hard. Um, or too far as opposed to short. No, that's right about that side. Yeah. It's okay, we got a little bit of there. You did okay. I thought you did be ready for me. Hey. Ha, ha, ha. 